Howdy folks, and welcome back to this let's play of Stellaris. My name is Cornelius, and let's carry on from the end of the last save game where we left off. So as you can see, we're actually playing in Iron Man mode, and we're going to carry on as, of course, the Psychic Foundation. Alright, so currently we are in the position where we have our own little carved out territory here. we got two additional pieces of territory here. This one's formed through an outpost, which is bigger than actually the one from the colony here. Which surprised me a little bit, but okay, so be it. Now we have another ship here, and I kind of had originally planned on building another outpost here. And in actual fact, I might still do that, because at the moment I got a positive gain on here, as you can see. Um, I'm just really, really low on my influence, so I really need to grow my influence somehow. And working with my actual parties or factions should, of course, get me that benefit. So what can I actually do for that purpose? Traditional Prosperity is one of the ones I can go for, which actually gives me a boost on this one, which would take it to 58%, but that's not, not sufficient, so there, there's more that I really need to do. Uh, Federation I can join, which actually helps me with this one here. Land grab objections. Outright invading primitive worlds will dis displease them. Okay, yeah, fine. Pre-sentient survival. Adopt diplomatic policies will please the Alien 8 Alliance. So, diplomacy... Adapting, ah, the, the diplomacy tradition. <clears throat> Pretty sure I've done that already. Let's have a brief look at those here. So diplomacy I've actually already gone for. It should have really pleased them as such, but okay. Um, and then later on I'm going to go for the perks down here. So I, I got 5 out of 5 for Harmony. I need to basically put more into diplomacy, it looks like. Alright, let's get the clock running. Let's have a look at our different colonies that we've got at the moment. <clears throat> so this one here, what have we got on here at the moment? <clears throat> this particular person is coming into its own there. Doing relatively okay in terms of food production. Um, can only upgrade these once I actually got a planetary capital, which makes sense. Can't really open up more of this space here, unfortunately. <clears throat> I can actually upgrade this yeah, administrative building here, an awful Centauri. And I actually want to basically clear out these here, I think. Let's put that on the chart. We received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that's called themselves the E. Zorat Collective. Where are they based? E. Zorat Collective. Down here. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. They are hive minded. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Wow, they are massive though. Look at them. Look at how basically big an empire they've actually started spanning out there already. <clears throat> so they could be one of my biggest opponents in the future. Now, it's still my wish here to basically get into a federation with the Oscox. I do need to basically make maybe a, a few more trade deals with them to get that kind of information to nicely flow. <clears throat> I'm going to give them active sensor links, which actually will be mutually beneficial here. <clears throat> okay, they've accepted that. What else could I do here with the Oscox? Now, what other trade deals could I offer them? Now, I believe I already have... What else have I got with these guys? I've got nothing else with these guys. I thought I had a, a research deal, but it looks like I don't. <clears throat> now, as an initial incentive, I probably want to give them some energy. Instant transfer. Let's get that to a positive plus one. <clears throat> Take me a little bit longer. Ah, there we go. Cool. <clears throat> ah, I already had one. Okay. So that one is clear. That one is <clears throat> clear as well. Good. Done. <clears throat> Done. So I still want to basically go for that terrain there. And as you can see, I've now got some space in terms of my naval capacity to be able to grow my navy to a suitable level. And as you can see, I can actually upgrade these buildings here. So 
so I'll do one at a time. <coughs> I actually can cue them quite nicely. System survey complete. Right, we survey a system. system survey Where complete. is the system here? It's really, really far set. Tile blocker cleared. <coughs> So we've got some more space here for growth now if we want it. On this planet here, we have got a physics lab already. Oh, what am I going to build here? Um, have I got anything in terms of the... I want a power plant. Power grid. Have I got a power grid already? I don't think I do, do I? <clears throat> no, that would be a beneficial one, I think. <clears throat> so we're going to go for the power grid. We can set the rights of all of our different citizens. So at the moment we don't have anything in terms of uplifting these, so we need to have epigenetic triggers. Um, technology required to uplift. <coughs> okay. So let's have a brief look at our actual research. System We're survey. going to complete Complain. in six months the Xenozoo. We have completed another survey here. Look at that. We basically got the Aurelium ore in this system. Watch, where's that? <clears throat> okay. Cool. If only we had some of that in our own territory as well, that would be even better. System survey complete. <clears throat> okay. So we're scanning systems quite nicely. <clears throat> Increasing the speed of the game a little bit. Construction complete. So on Sirius Prime we've completed the construction. And as you can see I can actually upgrade this building here. <clears throat> construction complete. I do want to make sure that the, there is more energy uh, yeah, self-sufficiency for each individual world if I can. Oh, my governor is actually leveled up. The one over here on Sirius. <clears throat> right, we are still. We've got a temple here already, but we're just waiting for the population to reach a sufficient research level. Research complete. <clears throat> right, completed research on the Xenozoo. So, what's the next one we want to go for? I will probably want to go for the farming upgrade. <clears throat> It's a relatively quick one, 18 months. <clears throat> Is it relatively quick one? Yeah. 30... It's 58, 580, so... If we get 30 a month... Yeah. Yeah, it's about a year. System now. survey complete. System survey complete. Construction complete. Cool. What we just completed here, we basically completed the upgrade on the power plant. <clears throat> Research complete. Ah, we got this one back here. <clears throat> so, ooh, that's good. We stand at 71% now, so that gives us a massive boost here. So our growth of that has gone up to 30. Construction complete. Good. So we completed another bit of research here which allows us to choose an alternative one. Actually, planetary shield generator, that's an interesting one. Generator is strong energy shield with a planetary atmosphere is a greater challenge than in the vacuum of space, but it offers a potent defense against orbital bombardment. <clears throat> okay. It's a rare technology, so that's not really that often used as we can see. It's actually one of the cheaper ones. I actually think I want to go for that one. <clears throat> 23 months. Okay, so yeah, all technologies are going to take a little while to complete. Alright, another one of my leaders has just been upgraded. <clears throat> that is this one here, just reached a three star state. How old is he now? 57, 47 and 40. <clears throat> Right, let's keep this up at the highest possible speed. Incoming transmission. We should receive the transmission. We want you. Uh, we would want not want to drag you people into conflict, but it's clear we would benefit from joining together against possible threats. Right, let's check these guys out. So if I basically check them out, 
<coughs> who are they currently allied with? No, they've got an issue with the Oscox at the moment. We've got a non-aggression pact with them. <coughs> so, mm, I don't think this is the ones that I want to really align myself with. But, of course, these guys here... They're not really in favour of us joining at the moment. <coughs> I guess they consider us to be too small. Is that maybe the main factor? Uh, base is negative. Relative power of empires is negative. Distance is also negative. Okay. Let's get that clock running again. Um, anyways, dismissing that one. Don't want to do anything with that. System survey complete. Happiness is, of course, a good thing. Systems so here are complete. most definitely not happy. <clears throat> System survey complete. Surveys are being carried Incoming out continuously still. <clears throat> cool. Uh, I actually want us to pay. Interesting. Who are these guys again? Are they part of anything? They've got issues with. The unidentified empire there as well. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, what do I want to do here? They are in terms of technology. Their technology is superior compared to ours. So if it's su superior, well, we would benefit from that, wouldn't we? Let's actually have a look at our neighborly relations. <clears throat> so firstly, the Oscox. Is there anything I can basically give them? I can basically offer them a migration treaty? Nope. They don't seem to want to migrate. Or at least they don't seem to want a treaty of that sort. I could, of course, here go for... It's a Federation Association status. What's that mean? I, I'm not quite clear on that one. Lots of closed borders here, as you can see. <coughs> Friendly, cordial, superior. <coughs> well, let's let that slide for now. <coughs> let's like, check out what I can actually do. I can actually upgrade this one here still. So energy output overall should increase quite nicely. This one will grow pretty soon, I hope. Right, what can I do on this planet here? I'm not in a position where I can actually upgrade this yet. No upgrade available for that one at all. Where am I investing efforts into here at the moment? Looks like into these here. And I can, of course, build on this particular spot a research lab. <coughs> Clear that one as well. Let's clear this one as well. And clearing that one as well. So now there's a queue again of items I may see clearing. My scientist has been upgraded in level or experience. <clears throat> so we should start performing better as we get closer to them. Now let's have a brief look at our actual planet and sector list. They are actually having a decent growth level here in terms of energy as well as in terms of minerals. Population in total is at the moment 20. <clears throat> it's good. My total population is System survey I complete. bigger than that, which is fine. The Council of Riga entered a non aggression pact with a Lilite. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> look at these guys. They look so cute. The Lyritian people complete. greet you. <laughs> Space and movies. Construction doing this complete. in four months, so let's see how that goes. Let's keep an eye on what I actually got over here. This one to have a physics lab. 
things are going to be on my queue of things <clears throat> to occur on that planet. That's what this guy here. I could, Research in theory, complete. of course, build an orbital tool station. Let's first have a look at actually our research options here. Ooh, growth speed. <clears throat> Interesting. Genome mapping. Order range. Galactic ambitions. Um, Empire modifier growth speed. Let's go for the border range here though. <clears throat> I think that suits me best here. Well, I do want to System survey complete here. We've received a transmission from the independent space station of the Kurache Signet Enclave. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Cool. Well met. We are the curators. Our ancient order has established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time when we were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from the descending into yet another dark age of mass extinction and barbar barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We're willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Well met indeed. So the curators, interesting. So where are those guys in my list here? There. Communicate with them. <clears throat> ah. We can ask them to tell us something we don't know. Tell us about the Ether Drake. Something we don't know. What's that going to cost us? Ether Drake species are ill suited to life in our universe. The last dragon is strong, but not invincible. What is it really? By all accounts, the Ether Drakes predate all galactic civilization. There are once multitudes, but their race has been wasting away for eons. They're ill suited to life here and now. Something about the physical laws of the universe does not agree with them, like they evolved in another reality. They did, in fact. We believe that they are but the last dregs of a universe that ended before ours began, and the sole survivors of some big crunch. Dragon. The dragon did not f uh, far from here. It's the last of its kind in the galaxy, perhaps the, perhaps the universe. Okay. Knowledge is the wrong. Is the wrong can be dangerous, but what do we? What can we do? We need energy to keep the lights on. Tell us about the wraith. Spectral wraiths are disturbing creatures. If they are creatures at all, we consider them a rare and extraordinary efficient natural disaster. Okay. Paradoxically, is their appearance lies the key to their defeat. Their relationship with the visible spectrum of light is their strength, but it diminishes when they approach a light source of a similar frequency. Pay close attention to the color of the wraith. Interesting. You're not actually thinking of my god what do, uh, it would be a slaughter for whom i'm not sure um okay let's go back to these guys here let's talk to them can you edit in our research of course we're prepared to offer you limited access to our extensive database for a period of 10 standard years we don't have enough money for that, which is basically the energy credits that they need. Situation log updated. We have marked a star system in your situational log. Interesting. Dark, interesting. So where? Ooh, intriguing is all. Because the Oscars have put something there. We're still at minus six. <clears throat> Relative power of empires is a significant factor in there. 
which should be an indicator to me that I actually have to grow my power. Let's see what we can do here first off in terms of food production. So you can of course boost that as you should be able to see me shortly. in on the ones where we actually got the highest output already to actually get the maximum gains of these boosts of the food production output. System survey complete. Alright, let's go to this ship here. This ship here has just completed its survey. Like I surveyed a number of these systems here already. System survey complete. I'm showing a bit additional orders to basically survey systems here. Alright, this one's completed its mission here as well. systems as such. All right, hold on. <clears throat> so these guys are entering a non-aggression pact with, yeah, that's fine, that's not involving us. These guys completed and of course one of our scientists has leveled. <clears throat> Good. Sweet. Now I think we're going to get close to the end of where we want to be today in terms of the episode. Let me see if I can actually do a last bit of spending here. as you can see. Anyways, I think that's pretty much enough for today. So I'd like to say thanks again for joining me. Now, as you can see, we've actually invested quite a bit of effort into, yeah, basically improving the quality of our worlds. We'll keep on doing so. And hopefully next turn we'll be able to see yeah, our borders grow by at least 20%. And of course, some of the other technologies come into fruition. And I guess next episode, I also need to start expanding again or investing in some of the other bits in here, uh, some other technologies and so forth. Anyways, in the meantime, thanks again for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'd say have a great day. Bye-bye.